Hello again everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. You know, I just love checking out new Linux distros, it's so much fun. And today I figured I would review a Linux distribution that I had a chance to check out recently, CrunchBang++. This distribution has been one of my favorites for a long time now. It's kind of a hidden gem when it comes to Linux distributions, something that not everyone has heard of, but it is something that I highly recommend that everyone checks out. Now I have reviewed CrunchBang++ in the past, but the thing is, there's a new version out. CrunchBang++ version 12 is based on Debian 12, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now, if you haven't ever heard of CrunchBang++ before, it's a very lightweight distribution that's based on Debian, with OpenBox providing the user interface. Since OpenBox isn't a full desktop environment, the entire distribution is fast and responsive. It's very stripped down with only the most critical of components to provide a simple yet effective interface. In addition, UI elements stay out of your way while you use this distro, which enables you to focus on getting things done instead of dealing with unwelcome distractions. Also, this is a perfect distribution for those of you that enjoy tweaking your installation. It comes with a very simplistic default layout, which you can configure as you see fit. Since customizing this distribution requires hand editing some config files, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to beginners, but its default configuration is fully usable even if you decide not to change anything. And in today's video, you're going to see CrunchBang++12 in action. I'm going to show you some of its features, what sets it apart from other distributions, and of course, I'll give you my thoughts. But in the meantime, I need to take a moment and mention the sponsor for today's video. If you're looking for a cloud provider that's affordable, flexible, and reliable, then look no further than Akamai Connected Cloud. With Akamai's cloud platform, you can spin up Linux servers quickly, and the platform contains all the features you'll need to deploy full-featured solutions. And using the marketplace, you could easily deploy applications such as Nextcloud, Rocket Chat, Mastodon, WordPress, Pi-hole, Plex, Jenkins, and many more. In fact, there's over 100 applications available in the marketplace. If you want to set up a custom Linux instance, you could do that too. All the popular Linux distributions are available on the platform, including, but not limited to, Debian, CentOS, Fedora, Ubuntu, and many others. In fact, even Arch Linux is available. So check out Akamai Connected Cloud with the URL that you see on the screen right now, which will do two things. First, it'll help support this channel, which I'll really appreciate and it'll also get you $100 in starter credit to check out the platform. And thank you yet again to Akamai for sponsoring this video. All right, with that out of the way, it's time to dive into CrunchBang++12 and give it a review. So let's get started. And here it is in all its glory. With CrunchBang++, you get a fully effective and well-integrated OpenBox implementation straight out of the box. At the top of the screen, we have two workspaces that we could switch between. You could create additional workspaces by tweaking the settings, but you'll start out with two workspaces by default. And I absolutely love the way workspaces are presented here. It makes your installation look as though you have a tabbed desktop environment. In addition to that, you'll have a series of icons on each tab that represent which applications are open on that workspace. With this distro, keyboard shortcuts reign supreme. There's a keyboard shortcut for just about anything. On the desktop itself, there's a bit of a cheat sheet that covers most common shortcuts, and that could be very helpful to newcomers as they get used to this new environment. Something you might be wondering, though, is how you go about launching applications with CrunchBang++. Well, for that, you can simply right-click on any empty portion of the desktop, and a special menu will appear that'll not only let you launch applications, but it also gives you quick access to important config files. Under the hood, CrunchBang++ is now powered by Debian 12 in this new release. And other than the default OpenBox setup, this distro is pure Debian. This means that all your security updates will still come from official Debian repositories, so you could think of this distribution as plain Debian with a completely custom implementation of OpenBox thrown on top. If you've never used OpenBox before, it's a window manager, not a desktop environment. The difference is that window managers enable you to open applications into Windows, but they generally have no features whatsoever other than that. 
And this means you'll have virtually no user interface getting in your way as you complete your work. However, CrunchBang++ takes its implementation of Openbox a step further by adding a panel, a network menu, a system tray, and some various tweaks to give you some of the features that a desktop environment would usually provide, but instead using Openbox to provide the interface rather than implementing something like GNOME or Plasma. Now let's take a look at the installation process. When it comes to installing CrunchBang++, it's fairly straightforward for the most part. It'll ask you a series of questions, and once you've answered everything, the installation will complete in just a few minutes. Now, if this installer looks familiar to you, then there's a reason for that. Other than being branded with CrunchBang++ initials and tweaking the color scheme a bit, it's, well, the standard installer for Debian. Once installation is complete and you log in for the first time, you'll be presented with a special welcome screen that's shown within a terminal. The welcome screen will ask you some questions about how you might want to further configure your installation, giving you options for such things as installing updates, installing LibreOffice, and so on. Now, if at any time you'd like to go back into this menu and go through the selections again, you can enter the cbpp-welcome command at any time to get back into this screen. Out of the box, CrunchBang++ comes with your usual suspects when it comes to applications. For example, you have a video player, you have a web browser, a text editor, and all of the applications are available right there in the right-click menu. All in all, I find this distribution to be very fast and responsive, and I think this is something that those of you that are using older hardware might want to consider, because with CrunchBang++ you'll have a lot less getting in your way when it comes to performance. But let's go over some pros and cons about CrunchBang++. Now, I hesitate to use the word cons here because whether or not you'll have an easy time with CrunchBang++ depends on your level of patience. That's not to say this distro is for advanced users only. Beginners might enjoy CrunchBang++ as well. But it is a totally different type of experience that may take some getting used to. But once you do, you might end up loving it. To make the configuration process easier, there's menu items within the right-click menu for adjusting the majority of the config files that matter for this implementation. For example, you can open up the openbox config file, which opens in a text editor as soon as you click on it. Once it does, you'll make whatever changes to the config file that you want to make, and then you'll save your changes and reload openbox. For those of you that are accustomed to adjusting settings within GUI apps, the configuration process in CrunchBang++ might seem like a downside. But once you tweak everything just the way you want it, you shouldn't ever have to touch the configuration again. After that, you can simply back up all of the config files somewhere, and then if you ever reinstall this distro, you can simply restore your config by restoring the files themselves. Another aspect of CrunchBang++ that's different than other distributions is the fact that it's very light on features. While some might think of this as a downside, it's actually the entire point here. This distribution is very lightweight by design and contains only the components that people generally need and nothing else. That way you have fewer things getting in your way when it comes to getting your work done. I really enjoy using CrunchBang++. It's really cool. It's something that I highly recommend that everyone checks out. And sure, it might not be the most beginner-friendly distribution out there, but it's also not that hard either. There's a live mode that you can use to demo the distribution before you install it, so you have nothing to lose. Just go ahead and give it a shot. Did you have a chance to check out this distribution? Well, if you did, let me know what you thought of it in the comments section down below. In the meantime, I have some awesome content coming very soon, so be sure to subscribe to Learn Linux TV for the latest in Linux, and I'll see you in the next video.